Peggy 16. Salut à tous et bienvenue dans cet épisode 5 de la BF3 TV. Juste après la Gamescom, nous voici de retour à Stockholm chez les mecs de Dice. Et comme vous pouvez le voir, ça tangue un peu, on est venu en bateau histoire de varier les plaisirs. Alors pour tout savoir de ce qui vous attend lors des prochaines minutes de cet épisode, on regarde tout de suite le sommaire. Au programme de ce nouvel épisode de la Battlefield 3 TV, Salomé vous parlera d'Armored Kill qu'elle a eu l'occasion de tester. Vous découvrirez ensuite le BF Live, nouvelle formule où Diablo X9 et son invité jouent et vous donnent leurs impressions sur Armored Kill. Et nous finirons avec quelques infos sur Aftermath et un zapping de nos vidéos coup de cœur. Mais tout de suite, Gustave et Niklas, les designers d'Armored Kill, nous parlent véhicules, armes, tactiques et sound design. So, the gunship is very much about teamwork. Your team captures a base and when they do this, they get access to the gunship so they can use it as a spawn point from which they can uh, jump out with a parachute and also as a weapons platform. There are two gun positions, one machine gun and one cannon. You can suppress or you can take out armored targets on the ground. Uh, however, this is not uh, an indestructible plane. You know, it's, it's a big bird, you can take a hit, but if enemy pilots come and try to shoot you down, you're in trouble. So, what you also can do is to jump out into an anti-air turret where you can deploy flares and you can shoot you know, the jets that are chasing you. However, you would of course need help from your pilots in your jets as well because although you can defend yourself, you are very, very vulnerable when jets are attacking you. Because you need the whole team to defend it, to keep it up, and the enemy team need to cooperate to shoot it down. But then we have the mobile artillery, that is a one-person vehicle. Which basically means you have this quite slow and not specifically tough, it's not very armored vehicle, that you, you, you basically find a good firing position, you stay there, and you deploy the big cannon, and you can you know, suppress targets way over there and be this tactical you know, softening up of a base before the others can move in, which is really important. So you can really bring down the mayhem on a base alone. And the tank destroyers also has one driver. They are faster and more nimbler, so you can really you know, cover a lot of ground, get to where you want to go, but still bring the big guns. And also have, you have AA, if you know, the enemy jets are coming to shoot you down, you can hop up in the AA, AA turret and start defending yourself. If you would find yourself in a base where there are no vehicles, we try to make sure that there are these really quick transport vehicles, like we have the, the ATV from Bad Company too, being introduced again in, in Armored Kill. So the idea is that even if you and your squad can't you know, utilize one of the bigger vehicles, there are smaller vehicles available for you to you know, traverse ground really quickly and get to where you want to be. Teamwork, of course, is uh, the key in Battlefield. So if you are a lone wolf and you like to you know, do your own thing, you can still do that and be effective. But of course, if a teammate joins you, like if your squad mate jumps into the vehicle and helps you manage the, you know, the turret or the, the gun, that's of course going to be a much more lethal force. So uh, definitely, people are definitely going to use you know, team tactics within, uh, within the vehicles. So that's the cool thing in Battlefield, like all the sounds in all our vehicles are actually the real sounds. We are tracking down the engine, we are tracking down everything connected to our vehicle to get the real proper sound for it. And that can be hard sometimes. I know that he's talking to friends like uh, over in America, oh, can you go and record this Caterpillar engine because they're using it in this uh, transport vehicle. So we are really putting a lot of detail into getting the right sound on everything in Battlefield. Uh, there's no difference uh, in Armored Kill, you know, we've, you know, done lots and lots and lots of work on trying to make these new vehicles have their own unique kind of how they sound uh, and it goes for the environment as well so the soundscape in, in Armored Kill is you know going to be up to quality.
Mais le mieux pour parler d'Armored Kill, c'est encore d'y jouer. Greg Quest, Community Manager chez EA et moi, en profitons donc pour tester le Gunship. Et comme vous pouvez le voir, je lui ai donné du fil à retordre. Salut tout le monde, c'est Diablo X9, je vous invite à me retrouver pour ce nouveau BF Live sous une nouvelle forme. Vous allez pouvoir le découvrir car je ne serai pas seul et non, j'aurai un interlocuteur avec moi et nous allons vous donner nos impressions sur Armored Kill, le prochain DLC de Battlefield 3 qui va bientôt sortir d'ici quelques jours et nous allons, durant cette partie sur Caspian Border, en conquête et en tank, tenter de vous proposer une partie intéressante pendant que nous donnerons notre avis sur ce prochain grand DLC qui va sortir, je vous invite à cliquer sur le lien qui apparaît et qui se trouve dans la description pour venir voir ce BF Live complet. C'est parti, on se retrouve en live. Salomé vous l'avez annoncé lors du dernier épisode, voici un avant-goût de ce qui vous attend lors des prochaines éditions de la Battlefield 3 TV. Le background d'Aftermath est l'earthquake qui en fait takes place in, in the Battlefield 3 single player campaign. We thought about how would it feel like to actually play uh, you know, a round of Battlefield in that environment. Uh, and as we started thinking about that and we really thought about what different scenarios and environments we can we could do with it, that's when Aftermath was born. Restez avec nous car nous parlerons très prochainement d'Aftermath, de son environnement post-tremblement de terre, de ses nouvelles armes et modes. C'est donc sous le soleil exactement que se termine ce nouvel épisode. Ce n'est qu'un au revoir mes frères, mais je vous laisse en bonne compagnie puisqu'on retrouve tout de suite le zapping BF3. Moi je vous dis à très bientôt pour un nouvel épisode. D'ici là, jouez bien. Bisous Un sniper sur le dernier ouais. étage euh, du coin C. Je viens de voir. Ouf. Ouh là là Tu le vois Tu le vois ouais, <rire> Boom, baby! <laughs>